you know what that stuff is out there. It's water vapor. Yes. And can you see any steam? Yeah, right there. Right. I the can't beginning. see any. Well, you can't see it, but you know it's there. You know it's there from the distance from there over. And of course, it's coming down this tube through these coils like this and coming yes. all the way back over here. From the kettle. From the tea kettle, right. So what is the temperature of the steam? 100 degrees. Cause 100 degrees Celsius, right? Right. Okay. Because the scientists have defined the term Celsius, Celsius uh, and 100 as the temperature of boiling water or steam. Okay, now uh, see those gloves over there? Yes. Put on those gloves and take that piece of paper and hold it here in the steam. Okay. And you know the reason for the gloves is that's hot. Very hot. Mighty hot. hot. Okay, hold it up there. Nice and good. Right, at, right up next to where the steam is. Nothing, right? Okay, you feel <laughs> warm? Okay, put it down. And I want you to try something else. Now you can take the gloves off. Because I'd like you to try this match. And just bring oh, it's the, not going to light a match. Bring the match right up underneath where the steam is. Just getting wet. Not hot enough to light a match. Okay. No. Now, Aaron, what we're going to do is put a blowtorch right here at this coil. So the steam that's coming out of here is 100 degrees, and now we're going to get it hotter than 100 degrees to superheat it so that by the time it comes out here, it's much hotter than 100 degrees. Why, why at the coils? Why are you going to. Well, the coils there so that you can make sure that you get a good supply of heat to heat the steam. Okay? So there's more. So there's more. So you get set with the gloves. And get ready to bring the paper over as soon as you see that we have a good supply of steam. In other words, this is going to be an invisible section out here, right? Right. It's okay, be more watch. Steam. Nothing's happening yet. Well, give the torch a chance. Oh, it's getting a little bit more. Right. Now there's way cool. Lots and lots of steam. Yeah, the water vapor is way out here, so all this section is yes. superheated steam. Okay, now hold the paper up there. Hold it nice and tight. Bring it in a little closer. A little closer. Keep going in. Keep going in. Now it's burning. Yeah, there. Okay, now you can take the... You burn a hole in the paper with steam. Steam. Okay. I thought now it wasn't take, hot enough. Yeah, t t I'll take the gloves off uh, and uh, get ready with the match. Whoa, it lighted. Yeah, obviously a lot hotter than just ordinary steam, right? Almost as hot as fire. Right. Well, as a matter of fact, it's hot enough to ignite the match and to burn the paper. And engineers want superheated steam so that they can get it to do much more work. It's under much greater pressure. And notice, by the way, that we're cooling off the coil with steam. Because, see, it's back to where it was. What would happen if you only torched the kettle and didn't have this big tube well, here? Well, you, you could do it with the kettle, but it would be a lot harder to do it because the kettle is so big so that you can do it much more easily with the, with the coil. Anyway, you now have had a chance to experiment with superheated steam, hot enough to light a match. Superheated. Right.